The Galapagos Islands offer diverse wildlife found nowhere else on Earth, from pelicans to marine iguanas and even sea lions. However, the old timer, the Galapagos tortoise, is one of the island's most precious species. They are the world's largest tortoises, with some specimens exceeding 5 feet in length and reaching 550 pounds. Galapagos tortoises have two main shell forms that depend on their biogeographic history. Those with shells that rise in the front have what's called saddleback shells. This adaption makes it easier for them to lift their heads to eat foods that grow higher above the ground, like tree cactus. With the saddleback tortoise, there's a large unprotected gap that lays over the neck, evidence of the lack of predation during evolution. Then there are the dome-shaped shells that live on islands that have an abundance of vegetation close to the ground, so there is no need to raise their heads to feed. The Galapagos giant tortoises spend most of their days grazing on grass, leaves, or cactus, and nap nearly 16 hours a day. Imagine how easy a life that would be. And on top of that, they can store food and break down their body fat to produce water, which means that they can go up to a year without eating or drinking. Yet, despite the effortless lifestyle and the lack of natural predators, the Galapagos giant tortoise almost went extinct in the 1970s. How could this happen, you ask? It all started in the 1600s when Europeans traveling by boat found the islands. The Europeans quickly found out that the tortoise was an easy food source. The tortoise's amazing ability to survive for up to a year without food or water became the cause of its demise. Sailors would store live tortoises on ship for fresh meat on long voyages. In addition, the human visitors would bring non-native species with them, such as pigs, dogs, and goats that would eat baby tortoises and eggs for their food supply. As a result, the tortoise population decreased about 80% since humans arrived at the Galapagos Islands. By the 1970s, only 3,000 tortoises remained. But currently, conservation efforts have been put in place. Galapagos giant tortoises enjoy full legal protection and cannot be legally hunted, captured, or transported off the islands. The Charles Darwin Research Center raises young tortoises until they're at least five years old when they have a better chance of survival. And then they release them into the wild. What's the future for these tortoises? And how will it impact the island's ecosystem? 